So what you guys are going to want to make sure you know how to do is, and I've just had eighth period, so I kind of told them, if there's a heart, you're not going to have to touch anything, all right? Yes. You're not going to have to actually touch the heart, get the gloves on, and all this other kind of stuff, okay? There might be a case where you might have to measure something, but it, you don't have to touch anything to measure it. So the tool would be like here, and you could, if you use the tools in the lab, you should know how to do it, and you won't necessarily have to touch it, because everything's going to be pinned, so it'll be in place like that. So, that was my um, stomach. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to want to make sure that you know dorsal and ventral and be able to explain why you know that. I mean, some of you guys might just think, well, duh, it's ventral. But be able to say a couple reasons why. Okay, like for example, if you're looking at this one right here, what would that be? Ventral. Ventral, ventral. because what are some, like, a couple, at least two reasons why you know that? There's no, um, there's no veins in the front of the... The heart okay. in the sulcus. Remember, you're not going to be picking it up and looking around, so there's yeah. no veins. No vessels. Well, there's no like this great thing vessels. This right here is the main thing that's going to tell you that, the right? The sulcus center right. the the sulcus. sulcus right here. And you can see that this big bulk right here, this left ventricle, that's going to tell you right away, right? Um, and then here, also, that what you're trying to say, I think, is the pulmonary trunk. It's always yeah, in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always on the ventral side, so you, you have that. Uh, don't be surprised if you have a question or two that's related to just this part right here. Because what were you guys supposed to do with this? Kind of take it off and look for the what? The, uh, the arteries, artery. 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 veins, you know, the vessels that are in there, and then the fat, the fat itself. All right. But what's the sulcus part? The groove the part. Okay. So, um, you guys, the names of the grooves. What's this one called? Interventricular. 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 Sulcus. Okay. That's what I was going to say, too. <laughs> That's, there's a lot of vocabulary, I think, on this section. Okay, so this is obviously dorsal. This is the same heart. Okay. This one has a few things that you guys didn't, <clears throat> that most of the hearts didn't have. Anyhow, this, uh, what's the name of this one right here? Posterior. 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 Right, and then what's this right here? Posterior interventricular. Okay. Atrial ventricular. So anything that's between the atria and the ventricles, you can remember that AV thing. AV, atrial ventricular. All right, so that's the fat around there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Um, let's go to the inside, I guess. Because I mean, outside, isn't there a question on the outside? I don't know what. On the um, thing, like the packet we had to review mm -hmm. yesterday, like there was a number, like right there and right there. And right here and right here. Yeah, and uh, I thought. Let me go grab the, the one of the packets. It's in the turn-in basket. The stack. And like I thought, like this one was like the. Um, atrium, but it's not. Where right, is this atrium? right here, the atrium is actually right here. Oh. The very okay, end. so the atrium, remember in a sheep heart, it's called the oracle, oracle, oracle because. Because. Why is it called an oracle? Because it's, it's almost like a flap. Because it's a flap, like an ear like oh, structure, yeah. right? So, and that, those are flat and they rest on the top here, right? Okay. Uh, one of the other questions on the lab was to go along with that was do human hearts have oracles? Yes. yes. And they do on the edge of the atria they have these flap like projections, right? So but they're not called oracles. But these just have the oracle shape. What was the one question you said, Donna? It's like on the very back pages. This one part. It's like right here. <laughs> yeah. Like I thought that was it, but it's not. Two. Two is this yeah. is the um, right ventricle. Yeah, I thought that so was So just good. remember that the heart is really like this way, at like an angle like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, ew. Okay. Right, <laughs> right ventricle, left ventricle. And the oracles are up a little bit further. Now, are they always going to be exactly the same on every heart? I mean, like this one, if you look at it, this one's a lot bigger. It doesn't matter, right? Okay. Anyway, sorry. We have video taking this. Okay. Um, anyhow, these are the oracles, right? So, what surface is this one? Uh, ventral. ventral. And you can tell right here by this right here. Mm -hmm. And you can also see the pulmonary trunk right there, pulmonary artery. And the, there's the oracle right there. So that's, what is this part? The sulcus. Right oh, wait. The right, right, the right ventricle. ventricle. Okay. Ventricle? Yeah. Yep. The atrium's the really ventricle. small. So oh. the ventricle is this whole thing right here. And that's, these are the oracles. Oh, okay. Which in a human heart we would call it. Oh, atrium, my oracles. Right? Can you explain um, the circuit? The heart, that's what I have the most trouble with. Oh, okay, so we had the three. Well, so I guess we could look at the inside because there could be questions, like I said, that you're not just going to have to go up to this thing and just name everything. What's the point? <laughs>
<laughs> right? I mean, you're going to maybe have to say, like, some things about it, like what they do, whatever the case may be. Um, so I guess which view do we want to do this one? Yes, since that's more like the diagram in the, in the notes. No, that one's not very good. Okay, so um, pulmonary circuit. Pulmonary heart. Which side of the heart is a pulmonary heart? And you guys remember you're looking at it backwards from what I'm looking at. So which side is the pulmonary heart? Right. The right. So um, let's say I said, okay, trace a drop of blood or a red blood cell through the pulmonary circuit starting at the right atrium. All right. So you're going to start right here. Where are you going to go next? Right ventricle. Then you're going to go through the pulmonary artery. And then to the lungs, right? And then what are you going to do? Go come back through the veins, capillaries, and then left you enter the left atrium. atrium. Once you enter the left atrium, technically, I guess we call this left side which side? Systemic. 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 But let's say I said, okay, let's take this red blood cell through the pulmonary circuit and the systemic circuit. Then where would you go from the left atrium? The left ventricle, ventricle, ventricle to the aorta, aorta to the body, body, out to the body, to the lungs again. To or the, wait, no. To the right <laughs> Some people did that on the, on the quiz. Go down to the <coughs> body, to the capillaries. And then what? Then back back, back up through the veins until you eventually right. go to the right, 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 right atrium. Article. Whatever. What are the Article. major vessels? The great oh, vessels. Oh wait, back to the one right, of the vena cava, right? Vena. So through the one of the vena cava, like superior, inferior. Oh, so it could be either. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Depending on oh. where the blood went. I mean, you know, if you take okay. a drop of blood through your foot, you're going to come in through the inferior. See what I mean? Oh, or so it's, it's like through your upper ear. half. Oh, okay. Superior. Question. Is it going to be like one of the branches, like specifically, is all it says? Like, say the brachiospastic like, could be. branch? Like, could it be. tell you to trace it back from there? It could be. Say superior? So, if you did through the brachiocephalic artery, where would that blood drop necessarily go? Where could right. it go? Like the right arm or It could go up side. through your right arm or your up the right side of your neck and to your head. What if it was the, what was the second one? After the, um, the, the left, carotid, left common carotid, then that red blood cell would go. Left side of your neck to your head, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other one was the, the, uh, the left subclavian uh, artery, so the blood cell would go out to, to the left arm and come back. All right, and all of those would come back into the superior, superior. superior vena cava, right? So if it's below there, it's going to come back through the inferior. Okay, good. That's good. Good review question. Okay, anyhow, so, so on the inside, that's the Right, and that's this is the right. Okay. So how can you tell that this is the right? Like, how do you know that this is the right? The and right the left? is a lot smaller. smaller. That's much thinner on this side. And it's smaller. Okay, remember the interventricular set. This is always going to be thick, right? In the middle, mm -hmm. you just have to compare these two. Okay, um, somebody, uh, Josh, you know where those scissors are back there on that um, next to the bearded dragons? Will you grab one of those blunt scissors? I don't want to cut these. Please, thank you. Let's get it. So on some of these pictures, like, and, and you guys can find pictures like this online. That's all I did was, I mean, before I had Google searched a, you know, sheep heart lab, and you can find, I mean, people have done this lab hundreds and hundreds of times all over the place. So, for example, some of these pictures like this one, what you notice is that all they did was they went like this. So even if I was to do this, you don't have to worry about naming that band over. All I'm doing is I'm opening this up a little bit more. Do you see what I just did there? Oh. You see, that's kind of like what's going on there. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's not like this is any kind of weird, strange picture. It's just taking this part that you already know and opening it up. So uh, they're just opening up the left ventricle? Right. Right? They're opening yeah. up the left no, the, the right, right yeah. ventricle. That's okay, because that one's a thinner one, all right? Um, and also look on this side. That's the right. Okay. okay, so you might see some that maybe like are here and like pinned down like that. And maybe we're looking at this thing right here, which would be which, what would that be? Tricuspid, right? And then what are these little things down here? This right down here? Yeah, papillary muscles, right? Yeah. What do those do? Do you have them in the function? Yeah, what do the papillary muscles do? These Don't they? Down they're down they're down down Whoa. <laughs> yeah, when they contract, no. then this becomes tense, kind of like when you're flying a kite, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you contract, the string is tight, and not air pushing up against here. Well, what's going to push up against there? Blood. Blood. And remember, once the, when the ventricle starts to contract, the pressure is hard enough to close.